Hello everyone, welcome to another MCQ practice session. This is the second session for immunology MCQ practice. Now I know many of you guys are practicing questions for exam. So in this particular video, we'll practice 10 questions from immunology in a span of 20 minutes. Many of you guys are preparing for IT Jam, CSI Net, CAD B, CUCT, or these kind of examinations. Now, if you guys are wondering that where you can practice more MCQs, which would add value in your preparation, where to learn concepts and where you can clear your doubts, then let me tell you in Unacademy, there are several dedicated batches for several examinations. For example, if you are preparing for GATB 2021, then there is a Synapse batch for that starting from 28th April 2021. So you can enroll to that batch. If you are preparing for IIT Jam 2022, there is a dedicated batch for that, which has started already from 21st April 2021. So you can join any of these batches and accelerate your preparation. Taking a subscription would allow you to gain access for all of these batches. Now, let me tell you that there was a price hike uh, in, the, uh, in, in these subscription fee. So many of you guys have asked me that how much is the price hike? You are saying that there is price hike, four days to go, three days to go. But how much is the price hike? Let me tell you, it's not dramatic. The price hike is kept very low. For example, earlier you take a one month subscription, you just only paid 2000 rupees and now you're paying 250 rupees extra. And if you're taking a subscription, let's say for 12 months, which is recommended, you, you I mean, earlier you were uh, giving 10,000 rupees and now you're giving only 12,000 and something with that. So this is not a dramatic hike. You can also use my code AB10 to get 10% discount on each of these pricing. And this particular uh, pricing range would be effective from April 30th. So hurry up and get your subscription now. You can download the app, use my code AB10, and you can start learning from non academy educators, right? And beat the course right now or beat the course price later on, my code would give you discount anytime. Okay, enroll now and let's start today's video. Okay, we have 10 questions. First question is, which one of the following cell is not derived from myeloid progenitor? Okay, neutrophil, basophil, macrophages and option D is B cell, right? Okay. So this particular question, if you want to solve, the correct answer would be option D because B cells and the T cells, they are lymphoid progenitor derivative. If you don't know what are lymphoid progenitor or myeloid progenitor, you know what to do. Go to the I button and click on the corresponding video. Okay. Second question says ELISA can be used to detect antigen, antibody both antigen and antibody and last option says antigen but not antibody you can pause this video and try to answer this and the correct answer would be option c i'm not telling every time but the entire immunology playlist corresponding to these questions is given in the i button you can go to that playlist identify your topic of interest that you want to learn and can learn from there and then can again try to answer these questions okay Question 3 says, in pregnancy test, the hormone which is detected by antigen and antibody interaction in pregnancy strip is prolactin, human chorionic gonadotropin or HCG, estrogen or progesterone. So the correct option would be HCG and the particular video concept is given in the I button. Question number 4, which of the following antibody is least abundant? but associated with type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, that means allergy. The correct answer would be, yes, you have guessed it correctly. It is op option C. IgE is least abundant, but it's important for type 1 hypersensitivity or allergic response. Question 5 says, given are the several events of inflammatory response, which one of these options shows the correct order. So there are events in this inflammationary process and you have to arrange them in order. Okay, first statement says 
pathogen engulfment by macrophages. Second is secretion of inflammatory cytokines such as IL-6, IL-1. Option 3 says um, the digestion of the pathogen derived antigen and displayed, displaying it on class 2 MHC molecule. And fourth statement says recognition of the pathogen by toll-like receptor. So first the pathogen or antigen need to be recognized. If it is not recognized how it would be engulfed. So once it is recognized then it would be engulfed. Then after engulfed the antigen would be uh, chewed up by these cells and then it would be presented and specific cytokine cytokines would be secreted. So if you understood this sequence properly you understand the fourth option uh, uh, statement number four is the first uh, option so you have two such thing like this and this and then after four what happens is step number one because then pathogen is engulfed by the macrophage so it would be four one three two this is the correct option moving on to question number six a very popular question that is asked in several exams different type of antibodies and their function so igg iga igm ige in one side and in the other column there is major antibody produced in the primary immune response involved in type 1 hypersensitivity response has ability to fix complement pathway secreted in the breast milk by the process of transcytosis so you can start with any one of that since we have just learned about ige let's start with this so d would go with 2 right because it is involved in type 1 hypersensitivity response so you have to look for options where d is 2 there are two options now you need another handle to uh, answer the question so here is igm you know in the primary or secondary immune response the first thing that comes up is igm so c is equal to 1 and you have to see where C is equal to 1. C is equal to 1 in the first question, uh, se second option. So B would be the correct option. Okay, just let's just verify to uh, the other options. So A equal to 3, that means IgG. IgG has the ability to fix complement pathway. Okay, it is lesser than IgM, but it still has. And B is 4. B means IgA. Yes, IgA is found in breast milk and other secretions and it is secreted by the process of transcytosis. If you want to learn about transcytosis, video is given in the i button. Okay, question number seven. Which of these is not an autoimmune disease? Psoriasis, uh, sorry, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis and AIDS. Let me tell you, AIDS is not an autoimmune disease. Question number eight. Hybridoma technology is used to produce interferon, monoclonal antibodies, antibodies, immune response. So let me tell you hybridoma technique is very very important for any examination purposes and it is dedicated to prepare monoclonal antibodies, right? So if you want to learn more about hybridoma technique, you know where to go. Question number nine, which of the following hypersensitivity reaction is not immediate? That means the manifestation of this reaction does not happen immediately type 1 type 2 type 3 or type 4 hypersensitivity so which one would be the correct option so correct option is type 4 hypersensitivity which is also known as delayed hypersensitivity response or dth so question 9 you got the answer last question is for you where i'm not going to say the answer which of the following observation would be expected in a patient whose t cell failed to develop maybe that patient has a thymus removal due to a tumor or anything let's say okay so the options are no antibody would be synthesized the antibody response would be normal because the t cell are affected but not the b cell c there would be uh, i mean the serum would contain norm normal to elevated level of igm antibody only cell mediated immunological response would be absent so these are the four options and you need to understand what would be the correct option Okay, regarding T cell activation, T B cell activation and their function, I have videos on. You can go and check those videos and try to answer this question. So, thanks for listening till the end. And if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And please turn on the bell icon for the notifications. And thank you. See you next time.